Here we are, we're back in the tundra. We're driving again. We got some cool things to do. We're gonna go film an episode of Untapped. This will be the vlog for that. And I'm all the way up. Exciting news. I don't really have a whole lot of exciting news right now. We'll keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we can uh, knock this thing out. catch some fish tomorrow that's worthwhile not a bunch of two pounders at st Clair. it's one o'clock in the morning we're at a pilot station pilot truck stop we're tired just want to go to bed fletcher's rig is parked somewhere my rig's parked over here and his camper is somewhere else and that's where we're staying in somewhere around detroit that's the pilot home sweet home Dude! So it's blowing 13 knots right now out on the buoys. What's it supposed to be in the morning? Same. 13? So that's three. 13 knots is a crank. That's 15 miles an hour, 16, 17 miles an hour. So one foot wave to them is like as tall as me. 1.0 equals one Fletcher. <laughs> 2.0, you better not go out there. So we woke up, it's nine o'clock. Fletcher's trucking boat is gone. As you can see, it's not there. Mine is still here. So I guess they towed it and we gotta go get it now. Nobody ever said this would be easy. Hi, how are you? I'm here to get the orange boat in the truck. $900 later, we get it out. We got the boat and truck back from the tow shop. We have not gone fishing yet. Stuff that you can't really control. Another surefire way to not make it very long out on the water. Try some of that. Yeah.
When you're fishing on Lake Erie, you have the border of Canada and the U.S. that runs right through the middle of it, and it's not uncommon for Border Patrol to stop you and check your credentials and just to make sure there's no illegal activity going on. And we truly do appreciate these men and women that are out here securing our borders to protect us. These guys were super cool. They treated us great. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All of the work. E at the end of town? No. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> That's why I think they don't charge you. You know, it's the best one in the country, and the number of people and the idea of the people. Perfect. But just to give you an idea, out of the five or six years that we've been coming up here, we've only been stopped once. So it was kind of a rare occurrence for us. We haven't made a cast yet. I already got stopped by the police. I thought they were sending us back to Canada. second time getting checked by Border Patrol today and here they notified us that the reason why security is so ramped up is because of the Republican National Convention being held in Cleveland right now. It all makes sense to us now. So is your last name uh Ryan. Yeah. Okay. Close. <laughs> How many times can you get stopped? Walking in the Mexican. I got flip-flops on. Felicia's got flip-flops on. And I just don't care. I just forgot to put my shoes on. Who wears flip-flops and socks? I do. Fletcher Shryock. <laughs> so we did get to go fishing. We're finally on our way home. We got the video shot. It actually turned out to be really good. We had some really great weather, especially for Lake Erie. After all the circumstances we ran through, you know, that's the type of stuff that you know, usually happens when you're on the road, just stuff that you can't control. The main thing is to uh, stay positive, keep plugging away, and hopefully you'll get what you're going after. You guys will get to see the footage coming soon on the next Untapped video that hopefully I'll have done this week or the following week, so stay tuned for that. Please, you got sunburned. Let the people know the net got burnt. After I tried to convince her into wearing a buff, Wear your sunscreen, wear your buffs, cover up, the sun's not good. Anyhow, stay positive, stay tuned. Next on tap, see you guys. He's playing Pokemon. Gotcha. Okay, come on kids. 